Hey all rest here of your TV, welcome. Look at the clouds. I'm just coming down from Havasu, heading back to Parker. Gonna do a loop. Actually I'm gonna go over to cut over to the Parker Dam Road. We're gonna do a big loop today. I had to cancel my big road trip because of weather. I'm not gonna film it rain. <laughs> so anyway, we'll do that next week. It's supposed to clear up. Hopefully get it done before Christmas. If not, it'll be right after Christmas. This is such a pretty area. Matter of fact, I'm going to cut down here on this road. Drop down to Riverside. I think it's Riverside Drive. It kind of follows along the river. I need to go by the county park and get a rate sheet for some friends. See what they're charging. I've heard a lot of complaints recently about the La Paz County Park. Tons of them. Rates and everything else. So we're Anyway, they asked me to get some rate sheets and we will. But while we're here, let's check this out. I don't know if you remember on the California side when I'd always say there's Foxes. This is Foxes RV Resort. The place is huge. They got a ton of them in here. This one's called Sandbar. There's Foxes, Sundance. Uh, there's several right here. And they are big and crowded. People love it here. Not only RVs, this is a boater paradise. See that sign, live band? They got music, restaurants. I mean, it's loud and proud if I always heard it was a partying type crowd, but nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong at all. Not complaining. Look at that boat off to the right sitting in the dirt. But anyway, uh, check these out. There's Sundance right there. And you can, there's another Sundance on the uh, California side. You, they'll give you a boat ride across the river. And see where that red brick wall is on the other side? That is a uh, Echo Lodge where I stayed. And they closed this road again. Look at these sheer cliffs. The rocks there, they keep falling down. So they've closed this road pretty much permanent. Let me get turned around. Yeah, the movement of those rocks have dropped. And I don't know if they'll ever reopen that section. That takes you right over to Buckskin. Where we're that close right there. But there's the mighty Colorado on the right-hand side. So, this will give you another quick look at the RV resorts. Always heard they have really good food at these places. Alright, well, let's head on down to the county park. I just need to stop there for just a minute. Then we're going to go in into Parker. Maybe we'll look up old Kurt, my wind stuff. A lot of condos on this stretch here. I mean, they are packed in, and they are high dollar. They're not cheap. Not cheap at all. This whole strip here, all the way through Parker Dam. You are right on the water. Beautiful homes. Storage lots, everything. Wow, look at all the mud and the puddles. I mean, that's still from a few days ago. It rained a little bit last night, but... That was a hefty, hefty storm over Thanksgiving. Okay, off to the right. This place is huge. It's La Paz County Park. Once again, I've heard a lot of bad about it recently. So, anyway, we're just going to stop. I'm going to get a rate sheet. Oh, off to the left, there's that uh, Emerald Cove or whatever it is golf course. Beautiful. Okay, there's their sign, La Paz County Park. To the left, that's where the clubhouse is for the golf course. Looks like a little doggy park. This looks good as any. Let me pull in here and see what's up. Well, that's a, just about a waste of time. How rude. 
I'll tell you in a sec. That was the wrong office to get uh, rates. It's right down here. But this guy comes up and said, Camp Post on this little golf cart started yelling at me, telling me to leave, can't park here. I was only there for a minute. So, and he had no business doing that. That was rude, rude, rude. I mean, they got a great location, but once again, this is county run. But boy, you'd need better help than that. My goodness. Okay, looks to the right. We got that little marina. Restaurants here. I never ate. Pretty pricey for my taste. Okay, up here's our office. Alright, well, I'm just going to park out front so they don't get mad at me again. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna run in real quick, get a rate sheet. Well, my goodness, I don't know if I'd ever stay here. Holy moly, there is some very unhappy people working here. Poor management in my book. There is way too... Look how that guy's just shoved in there like a sardine can. There's way too many uh, choices around. <clears throat> yeah, they definitely got problems here. I don't know. Poor management. Unhappy people. You see it a lot in RV parks, so it's not that uncommon. I'm going to tell my friends to forget this place. No way. Showers used to be two bucks, now they're eight. Dump fees are like 15 bucks. A friend of mine told me a while back they got tossed out of here for nothing. So, <laughs> I don't know. But when you got nothing good to say, don't say it, right? All right, on we go. Swap meet right there in the right. That's where my wind stuff sets up. They're there on Saturdays. It's a cute little swap meet. If you've never been to it, they got a few vendors. And then a bunch of them go up to Havasu. Don't forget about the Havasu swap meet on uh, Sundays. If you're out, want to do a weekend drive around the river. But let's see. Oh, I know. Uh, right up here in the right, I'll pull in. There's a day use place. Now, here's a bar here that's been there forever. This is definitely Boater World here. Right here. Here it is. A little day use area. I used to bring my doggy here. Years ago. You can walk right up water. They got picnic tables. Friendly. <laughs> Let's go in. I'll launch a drone from here. We'll check it out. Get a view of the water. Look at that big puddle. Wow. They really had some rain here. Just a ton of it. Okay, let me get parked. I know. Well, let's walk down the water first, then I'll fly a drone. There used to be a guy that would swim down here, an older gentleman. Fit as a fiddle. Swim right along the bank here. I talked to him before. But check it out. I mean, they got cute little picnic tables, barbecues. It's open to the public. I think there's a day use fee. I don't know what it is anymore. But if you want to come down to like the swap meet, and then you can come over here and have a picnic have a little lunch watch all the boats go by on the weekends this place is jammed you can fish here that's California straight across that's how we'll go back once I go into Parker we'll go back up uh, 
Parker Dam Road. Why not? Look how big them palms are. Aren't they happy? All that water. Water and hot sunshine. Well, a little overcast. But this weekend we're supposed to get, it's not a bunch of rain, just going to be a storm coming in out of the Pacific going to affect us and I think finally after Tuesday we clean we'll clear up all right drone time up we go okay straight off that's highway 95 look at the size of that puddle almost like a little pond <laughs> Oh, there's mobile homes there. I didn't know that. So you got mobile home park. Those look like condos there. Big storage units. Wow. You can see the golf course there. There's the mighty Colorado. And there's California. Look at all the RV resorts on that side. See, you got a ton of choices down here. Look at all them storage units. Park models. This one after another. We'll check them out when we come up to you. You know, and there's also a BLM uh, campground. A true BLM campground. You can camp right on the water with no hookups. We'll find that too. That'll be next video. Pretty though, huh? Look at the dirt track. Looks like they run dirt bikes or something there. That's kind of cool. Plenty to do. And there's uh, Highway 95. Great. Well, get landed. Then we'll head on into town. Yeah, they got playgrounds here, big dog area. Always like coming down this one. There's a couple smaller ones too. A lot of people will beach their boats and then use them. Okay, here's the big community of Parker Dam and look at all the condos. This is very high end real estate. Some of these places go for over a million bucks the closer to the water you get. Very exclusive. There ain't a whole lot. There's a gas station up here. I think like a little coffee shop. But I mean every square inch of real estate. There's a big realtor office of course. <laughs> But every square inch is used here. They use it all. All right, well, let's go up here. We're almost back up to the highway. We'll cut into Parker, make a quick Walmart pit stop. I just need to get a couple quarts of oil. I always like carrying a little bit in the van with me. Van doesn't use hardly any, but it's nice to have. I think the last quart lasted over a year. Okay, make it right here. We're back on uh, this is Arizona 95. And we'll go past up here, uh, just past Blue Water, and then right into Parker. Blue Water, you know Blue Water, they got a huge RV park. You can free camp in their parking lot, but if you actually want hookups and all that, they got a huge RV park down there. Got to be a lot better than that county park. 
Check them out, Blue Water Casino. I know after that van build, that Blue Water parking lot filled up. <laughs> now they're all down around Quartzsite. Okay, here's Walmart. All right, you guys have to wait in a van. I just gotta run in a minute. I always like saying that. This is a very small Walmart. Very small. It's not one of them big super centers. Okay, let me get parked. Be right back. Alrighty. Grab some oil. Now let's go have fun. Let's go find Kurt. Put him on camera. <laughs> that guy is not camera shy. Plus, I left him some stickers. RV or TV stickers. If you come by here and mention RV or TV, guess what? He's going to give you a sticker. Isn't that fun? Okay, you can't miss him. He's right here in the right. See all the wind spinners? Big motorhome and trailer. There he is. All right, let's go have a little fun. They're waving. All right, go get Kurt on camera. Hey folks, Kurt and Kinder here with My Win Stuff in sunny Parker, Arizona. Uh, set up here across from Burger King. We got the wind spinners and the kites going on. Arizona Coppercraft is over here. Uh, uh, Bixby's got his oranges. He can get you some blankets. Leo's here with his vinyl letters. And the most important part, stop by, get your RVer TV decal. That's right. All you got to do is stop and say, hey, we seen you on YouTube. We'll give you a free decal. Support the channel, all right? Come see us. Nice, sunny, 70 degrees. We might have a special deal for you. Who knows? Well, too cool. That copper jewelry was perfect. What great Christmas gifts. Man, there's a lot of vendors right here. Stop. Check these guys out. I just grabbed a bag of those oranges, too. All right. Well, I'm going to head over to the California side. Let's go back up. I need to go back up to Havasu. Let's go back up the Parker Dam side. We'll find that BLM campground. And also, there's a uh, visitor center. I think it's called Rock House. Gonna find that too. All kinds of cool stuff. Next video. Talk soon.